Hello, everybody! In this video, I will briefly talk about the auto physics tool. Now that we've got acquainted with the main tools and concepts, it's time to make a point about auto physics. Auto physics allows us to automate several animation techniques in order to improve physical accuracy. This tool can, for example, automatically alter the character's poses to make it balanced. It can create ballistic trajectories. It can improve the way the character rotates, add secondary motion to the character's body parts, create overlappings, and so much more. In short, this instrument takes upon itself many of the things we were doing by hand in the previous tutorials. However, auto physics is not some silver bullet, and it has no way of knowing what kind of animation you'd like to create. It cannot create keyframes and set up poses in your stat. The only thing it really can do is to make some improvements to what you've created yourself and to give suggestions. The results of auto physics improving the animation is shown as a special physical ghost. This tool is still under development, getting upgraded and improved with each new version. Because of this, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to handle. But if you understand the logic behind the tool, you already can use auto physics to improve the quality of your animations and shorten the time you spend making them. For example, fulcrum points play a key role in the auto physics. Let us create a few keys, send interpolation between them, and enable the physical ghost. The tool considers that if some point is placed close enough to the ground, and if it does not move anywhere across some number of frames, then this point is recognized as a fulcrum point. The legs remain in one place in every frame of the interval. This means they are considered fulcrum points. A green area is painted around them. Now let's see what happens when a leg is raised on one of the frames. On this interval, both legs act as fulcrums. After frame 10, only one leg is a fulcrum point. Then both legs are fulcrums again. The center of mass moves toward the standing leg, so the character won't lose balance. If I tilt the character on this keyframe, the physical ghost will have to move him even closer to the fulcrum point. The same will happen if the leg simply moves far enough instead of being raised. Because the leg is sliding on these frames, it can't be considered as a fulcrum point. Now let's raise both legs on this keyframe. The tool has built ballistics for the interval with no fulcrum points. It also added a preparation pose for the jump. On this interval the character does a little squat. The same happens right after the jump. If I increase the number of frames between these two keys, the jump will become higher. And vice versa, if there are fewer frames, the character won't jump as high. The height of the jump is also affected by the changing in the gravity. Lower gravity means more time to reach the same high. And if the character suddenly starts to rotate in one of the frames during the jump, the auto physics tool will remove the rotation. So, there is the basics of how this tool works. In the next course, 
we'll be taking a closer look at various settings and peculiarities of the Autophysics tool, using several animations as examples. Goodbye for now! See you in the next course!